So what do you get for the guy who's got the machine that can make anything they want, anytime they want? Some of you might know that July 6th was a big day, which is why July 4th there were the parades and the fireworks and all that stuff. Because July 6th was my birthday, so that's why two days before is the national celebration, so that we can have a day between the family celebration on the actual birthday. That's the way this all works. July 4th, that was all for me. You know it. I'm a hard person to shop for. I mean, dads are hard to shop for already, but I'm a dad with a 3D printer. If I can't get anything, I can make it. And so, what the heck do you get for a guy who's got that situation? I think my kids found the perfect answer to this. Of course, part of what made that birthday so good was you guys and the backing on my Kickstarter that made it the third most successful day after that Kickstarter's first and second days. So thank you guys for that wonderful birthday gift. But I gotta admit, my kids really hit it out of the park with this one. And while it's not a competition, I mean, it's my kids, right? Let me show you what they've done. All of these things were 3D printed by my kids. On the 3D printer that I let them use, they used their time and found some designs that they wanted to print for me and thought about designs that either that they could make or that they could find that would be representative of me. And this was perfect. My my one daughter modeled a cheeseburger and printed it and the supports, there were no supports on it. It came out looking terrible on the overhang. And she looked at that and she said, oh, how can we fix that? And I said, oh, teaching moment. It, it, she made herself a teaching moment and it was absolutely wonderful. And a similar thing happened to my other son. He wanted to print this portal books book holder because he knows that I enjoy portal but the other half of it you might notice is only halfway done the red filament for some reason just kept curling and curling and worse and worse and he was like I don't know how to fix this well I do and let's get together and fix it so we had that experience my daughter made this sign and she made sure to point out that it says warning best dad ever <laughs> She thought that that was fun, and she made this in Tinkercad all by herself. And she figured out that if she printed it upside down, that it would print without support. And I felt so excited that she was learning that. And this, this cool little pirate ship, which is just the right size for printing the quarter size test models that I made of the low poly dinos. Here, let's see if we can get the raptor back in the crow's nest. Oh, he doesn't want to stay. He modeled this all by himself in Tinkercad, including a little pirate treasure chest for it, including an X to mark the spot, which he created with the new tool in Tinkercad, the sketch tool. So he's learning new tools and using that to make something cool. Now, why does this all excite me so much? Because, one, they say that a gift is not so much about the giver as the person giving it. And they are showing that, hey, Dad, we know you love 3D printing. We're going to try loving 3D printing just a little bit, too. And so they're they're doing it, and they're they're finding it, and they're, they're having learning experiences. Also, it's that learning experience, that fact that we can bond over their failures and their successes and get together and talk about, well, how do you think we could have done this? And I get to be the wise dad who knows the solutions and can guide them towards it. Don't just give them the solutions, dads. Help them learn it themselves. The last one that I'm super proud of, my son, who loves dragons, found on Yegi a low-poly dragon to go with my low-poly dinosaurs and printed it out for us. And it's a it prints without supports just the way I like it. And yet, it's so him. He loves dragons. My other son loves Portal 2. So it's representative of both of us, and it's great. Now, I'm not going to say that my kids weren't interested in 3D printing before this. And if you're not interested in 3D printing, you probably aren't going to do this. But if you did, what a great gift for the person who's into 3D printing to say, hey, 
I'm going to try something that you like. This has opened my eyes, not just to gifts for people who own 3D printers, but I think in the future, I'm going to try to make sure that any gift I give some, to somebody is a little bit of me, but dig into a little bit of what they love. And of course, if you're a 3D printer owner, we wear that on our sleeve pretty well. We evangelize 3D printing. We want other people to get into 3D printing. I just wanted to show that to you guys. Hey, Low Poly Dino Kickstarter is still going, so check it out if you haven't. Big thanks to my Patreon backers, because while the support on a Kickstarter is great, long-term support just means the world to me. Thank you guys very much. You are the wind beneath my wings. And as always, I want to thank you very much for watching and remind you, safety first. I'll see you next time. Yo-ho, yo-ho, a pirate's life for me. Arr, we're going to get the booty there. Yarr. Treasure chest even has stuff in it. This is so cool. Low poly dragon, you're going to hide among the low poly dinos.